तो पार्ट वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लिमिट एक्स टेन टू पाई बाय टू प्लस इट इज व्हाट पाई बाय टू प्लस साइन पाई बाय टू प्लस एच सो व्हाट विल हैपन वी विल ड्रॉ द ग्राफ This is y. This is x. Sin x is something like this, and this is the point pi by two. If we will draw the greatest integer curve for that, at pi by two it is one, and before pi by two it is it is before pi by two it is zero, and after pi by two it is zero. so this is the solution question number part 2 same plot the plot the graph so this is fractional x graph for x equals to 2 this is the fractional x graph so what can we say is that at x equals to 2 it is near by 1 and after that it will move again so 2 plus limit extending to 2 plus great fractional x of x by 2 will be zero limit x tending to 2 minus fractional x by 2 will be equals to 1 so what can we say limit does not exist d n e three plot the graph we have 10x okay 10x 10x is like this and we have 10x like this so this is pi if we'll come to pi minus it is ne some negative value if we'll go pi plus it is some positive value so can we have limit x tending to pi minus signum tan x so pi minus the greatest integer will be some negative value between minus 1 to 0 so it will come out to be signum minus 1 which is minus 1 limit x tending to pi plus signum tan x 
it is pi plus, which is some value bigger than zero, less than one. So it is zero. So limit does not exist. Question number four. Plot the graph. We have ln x. So we know that the ln x graph is like this. And this is one. And second thing that should be noted. If we go one plus, we'll get some value this, which is zero plus h. If we go one minus, we'll be getting some value this, which is minus h. Okay. So now limit x tending to 1 minus sine inverse ln x it is what sine inverse minus h which is minus of sine inverse h and h is tending to 0 so it is 0 limit x tending to 1 plus we have sine inverse h which is what zero so it will exist so these are the solutions <laughs>